Spill the Tea is sponsored by the Spice and Tea Exchange of Rehoboth. All right, we told you guys we have some relationship drama for That's you, right. and uh, let's uh, let's spill this tea. But first, Leah, what are we drinking? Yes, uh, this is one of the summer flavors from Spice and Tea Exchange nice. on Rehoboth Avenue in Rehoboth Beach. It is the Dragon Fruit Fusion Herbal Tea. Yeah, we've tried this one before. It's so delicious. We figured we might as well dive in and try it again. But the other reason we wanted to remind you, yes. when you hear a tea that we talk about on the show, and you think it sounds good to you, you definitely want to get in there because the last time I was in, I couldn't find this one. It was sold out. It was sold out as far no. as I could tell. So it's possible they've restocked, but yes, it's just if something sounds good to you, make sure you get in there yes. and try it out. Always. Because uh, if the vibrant blend of uh, exotic flavors of pink dragon fruit, hibiscus, pineapple, if all to create a vacation of taste sounds good to you. Sounds good. Sounds good, right? Then you want to try it out. Yeah. So I'll get to spill in this okay. tea. You I think get last to spill time too, drama. didn't we try this with, hun with our honey? We did try this with the honey Ooh, last time. Okay. So now you're going to get to try it just, you know. Yay. Just straight just straight all right well what's not straight and easy to figure out is this relationship drama that we have this is a little mm. topsy-turvy we got to figure this out okay so this is a written in by a husband in mm -hmm. his early 30s his wife who is in her late 20s she apparently has always wanted a garden mm -hmm. and he has told her sorry honey I'm allergic to bees mm. so he didn't want a garden you know obviously gardens attract bees uh, he says that he told her if you're gonna have this garden you gotta do all the artwork like I'm not going out there if there's an increase in bees she, he goes on to vacation one day or work trip or wherever he was, he comes back home, she planted a small garden. He's very upset and um, now she's asking for maybe a little bit of help in the garden. Mostly mowing the lawn is what she needs done because he okay. used to mow the lawn. Okay. Uh, and he's like, no girl, you planted that garden, you mow the lawn. And he's like, am I being rude? Am I being terrible for not helping my wife with the garden? What are we thinking? Now this is one of those, I wish we had the wife's point of view. I do too, yeah. because it's possible that like he feels like blindsided by this garden. Mm -hmm. Oh, it came out of nowhere, but it's also possible that she's been like, I want this garden, like how can we make this happen? Yeah. She's given the signs yeah. and he's just ignored them. So yeah. it's hard to say that if it like popped up out of nowhere or there's been more conversation and somebody just wasn't listening. Right. Hard to say. The important thing to remember when it comes to bees is that if you've got a garden, chances are you got happy bees. And if mm -hmm. you have happy bees, they're not looking to sting anybody. Mm -hmm. So they're not, you know, aggressive by nature, it's only if they feel threatened, which yeah. of course, if you're mowing the lawn, you could kick up a nest and right. disturb them and, and, and upset the bees. So I get it. I also get not wanting to mow the lawn because mowing the lawn is not my favorite chore. No, exactly. And I'm wondering, like, did they have this conversation before she planted the garden of like, if you end up planting one, you're in charge of the lawn mower because she might have not been thinking and just been like, mm -hmm. oh, well, I'll take care of the garden. He'll keep mowing the lawn. I don't know. This is tricky. This is really one y'all got to figure out on your own. I'm kind of thinking the same thing. <laughs> like this is a, this is a tricky one that I don't know that I even necessarily pick a side. I mean, I guess because it's a health issue, you kind of do have to side with the husband That's where because I'm at. like he could he could be in real danger, you right. know. And as somebody who's not allergic to bees, I want to be like suck it up, buttercup. Yeah. But yeah. it's a very real danger and a very real health issue. Yeah. Um, if he wasn't allergic to bees, I would a hundred percent be like get out there and mow your lawn. Yes. But I mean, or maybe they open the door and have the conversation about calling somebody to mow the lawn. Yeah. How big is your yard? Hire a neighborhood kid. Yep. Hire landscapers, maybe. Yep. That maybe that can be where they meet in the middle somewhere. Yeah. If neither of them want to mow the lawn, and that's the mm -hmm. that's the line in the sand that's not budging, then maybe they maybe hire somebody. Yeah, I mean, a neighborhood kid will do it for fifteen bucks. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Call it twenty if they do a real bang up job. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough one. I, again, if we have to pick, I'm team husband. I do wish we had more of the, the wife's side. Yeah, I wish there's a little yeah. bit more context. Strictly because of the allergy yeah, issue. Yeah, but I think because it's an allergy, you have to you have to keep his safety in mind and consider that. And so I think maybe the best course of action right now is consider bringing in a neighborhood kid to mow the lawn. I like that. I like that. That's a good compromise, Leah. Yeah. Good job. There you go. Okay. Try it. Try it out. Try tea. We're too. gonna try this tea. Cool. See how it goes. Mmm. It smells good. Even before I took a sip, it smells very yeah. like fruity. This is a great summer tea, and Ooh. I think this one. I remember when I was there, um, we had talked about like using this as a summer spritzer. Yes. You know, throw a little mm -hmm. little white wine in there, maybe yes. a little champagne. Call That's, it a day. Champagne would be really mm -hmm. good with this. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Mm -hmm. We just gave you your weekend plans. <laughs> That's what we're here for. You're so nice. <laughs> but uh, we do have some more coast life to get to. Quite a bit going on still. Uh, we're going to check in with some more Olympic athletes yes. that we love checking in with, and then we're also going to hear from you a little bit later in the show as well. So uh, stick around because we got quite a bit more coast life coming up.